No, the title of this video is not clickbait. I really do want an answer in the comments below. Do you think gamers are too loyal? I'm making this video even though I know probably no one will care. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. Because it's a question that's just been eating at my mind every time I release a new YouTube video, half the time I read my comments, and almost any time I see any online media or YouTube video. Are gamers just too loyal at the moment? And is that part of the problem and why games are in the state that they are, especially with like live service model games, but even other games as well? I'm curious what you think. But if you want to stick around and hear what I think, well, let's get into it. Oh, I don't think so. So I was super hyped for the release of Last Epoch and I've really enjoyed the game. And I think if people want it, I'll make a review on it once I get a little bit further into endgame. It's no secret that the game, though, has had massive server issues. I made a video about a week ago pointing out that the game had had long-term server issues even before launch, and that we shouldn't buy into the narrative that the game just has had a rough launch, but that there might be deeper, more long-term issues involving the netcode that are going to cause more long-term issues for the game until at least 11-hour games can get them fixed. Now... From the comments on that video, I don't think I've ever had to delete as many comments on YouTube or slurs or telling me to uh, leave this corporeal realm than on that video. Now, it's very clear from most of those comments that the vast majority of people didn't even watch the video. Now, boo hoo hoo, old man banjo, you're still doing okay on YouTube for a guy who's been on here a year. And I know that, but the thing is, right? I've been on YouTube since the launch of the site. I've had bigger channels than this. I've worked as managers for channels that have millions of views of video. I'm mates with people that are huge YouTubers that I know. So I kind of have a good feeling for the site. And I'm not boohooing here. I'm just asking a question. Is the gaming world so divided now between loyalist particular studios or brands and people that are perceived as farming clicks that it's almost impossible to have a discussion nowadays about games when they release and what happens with them. I don't really blame people for responding to that video in that way. They are fanboys of Last Epoch and they want the game to succeed. And on the modern day internet, it's very easy to perceive any form of negativity for something you love as someone farming clicks. Why? Because YouTube seems to at the moment very much encourage people to farm clicks. But then there are other things that have happened online recently that I can't kind of defend. I don't know if any of you saw this, but recently uh, there was a bunch of drama surrounding um, games like Hi-Fi Rush and um, other Xbox exclusives uh, soon to be released on the PlayStation 5 or the PlayStation Sony architecture more broadly. How is this real? And if you are unfortunate enough to read Twitter, you would have seen many Xbox fans forming support groups to cope with the loss. Now, if you're a normal person, you're asking me, well, old man Banjo, what loss are they coping with? Well, the loss of their proprietary console exclusive games. That we have 38 year old men going to war with each other over which bootleg PC is better. How is this our reality? Yes, that's a loss that other people are allowed to play games on a different console to you because you're Xbox loyal. And that's the sort of concern I have that I kind of want, if you're watching this video this far, to give me your feelings on. Because I'm beginning to feel more and more that the gaming landscape really has changed. I can't put my finger on when it began to change, though part of my gut tells me it was really around the lease of Fallout 76, though it could have happened far before that. But I feel like more of the internet and more of the content that's being driven to gamers is more surrounded upon either complete negativity and complete fanboyism. Or worse, ultra cynical YouTubers that will fanboy over a game exactly up until the point that that becomes untenable and then do an absolute 180 and pivot to being completely negative because then they get the best of both worlds, at least from their um, perspective as a content creator. But where, in my view, this gets bad for consumers is the fact that these big companies, even the small companies that hire community managers and some small PR staff, they will 
They're not stupid, these people that do those jobs. They're reasonably well paid and they're savvy internet users as well. And they watch YouTube videos and they read forums and they definitely read Reddit. They're aware of how far gamers can be pushed before things become untenable for them as a brand. And if I was a community manager, one of the lines that I would always be walking is how far can I use the game's core fan base in order to avoid long-term negative blowback for the game itself? And if I was a developer, one of the things I would consult with the community managers, especially if I was a large uh, developer with a huge community management team, was gauging the community barometer of what we can do, what we can achieve, and more importantly, what we can monetize without destroying our fan base. And I think we've seen that definitely from Activision Blizzard. We've definitely seen it from Ubisoft. And I think we also have seen it from smaller developers, albeit on a more benign level, because, well, as Plato said, the less power you have, the less harm you can do. It's sort of paraphrasing, but you get the point. Am I wrong about this? Then my last video has just been bad. I once had a philosophy professor that said to me, the phrase that doesn't make sense to me means an entirely different thing when it comes out of a student's mouth and when it comes out of a professor's mouth. So is it just that I'm a small YouTuber and so I'm seeing more of the vitriolic side because people care a lot less about your opinion when you don't have a million subs? Or has something really started to change culturally about gaming over the past like five to 10 years where it just feels like some people don't even wanna have debates about games anymore. They just have brand loyalties and they either absolutely want to see the game in question annihilated for its betrayal of them or they will defend that game without question and are absolutely oblivious to anything out there. I guess the other option is that most of my audience on this channel are American, and America hasn't exactly been known for fostering creative and helpful debate in recent times. Um, maybe I should abandon the American accent on this channel and just let my Britishness shine through. I freaking hate this accent sometimes. Uh... Yeah, I'll stick with the American for now. Uh, yeah, and I'll comment down below about that. I don't know. It's weird when you've lived in as many countries as I have because you can swap your accent up uh, on the fly. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry for a ranty video. I just can't I can't make another video until I get this off my chest. Um, and let me know what you think. I'm really curious. Is your experience as a gamer, has the, has the way that you feel gaming fans relate to companies or maybe you relate to gaming companies changed over the past five to ten years? For me, it has. But in the negative way, I'm, I'm skeptical of almost everyone, even small indie studios now. Uh, yeah, peace. See you guys.